Dustin and Jerry from Archway Resort. What's up, fellas? How's it going? So these guys actually, uh, Dustin reached out to me. Um, they work at a resort nearby that is similar in a lot of ways. Uh, you guys just don't have a piece of crap resort like I do. Uh, it's, it's actually nice over there, but they want to do similar things that we want to do. They want to have uh, people out to stay. They want to have people out to dine. They want to have um, lots of fun activities out there. And he reached out because he saw all of our wine. And this is something that you guys kind of specialize in. And he was like, I can help you. And so he actually came out a couple weeks ago just to check it out. And then we went out to his place to check out the resort out there. Um, he's back today, and what do you got today, Dustin? Today we are going to test these wines with a Corvin. Essentially, there is a, a needle on here that is pushed through the cork of the bottle, and it puts an inert gas, which is argon, in a little, very similar to like a BB gun um, CO2 cartridge. Yeah. And that will force the wine up the needle and out into the Just glass. extracts a little sample out. So we're just gonna sample a few bottles, see if it's good. Um, and the name of this resort, I didn't say, Archray Resort over in Fredericksburg, Texas, which is about 45 minutes away from us. You're gonna sample some some nice bottles, some like expensive ones, some cheap ones, a little bit of everything? A little bit of everything. Let's go with the 2000. That one's probably... Uh, That's over there. Probably cooked, but... <laughs> Yeah, what, what do you think? Do you think they're all cooked? I'm gonna go under the assumption that they are. Yeah, we had tons of comments saying that we should turn the wine into whiskey. So I started researching about that. You can't actually do that. You can turn it into brandy if it's bad, but we just kind of want to see if any of it's good because if it's good, then we drink it as wine. It's a nice brown color there. When we took the corks out of the other ones, it was, uh, they were super soft and just fell apart. I can't wait to see what you guys think about this. Judging by the color, uh, it's pretty oxidized. Yeah. Nice and brown. That's what you want, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> smells lots of nice, for sure. Yeah. So you're not worried about getting sick or anything with that? No. A little metallic, but I don't know. I would still say that it's drinkable. Really? Okay. But not good. <laughs> it's like... Not not great. Nah. If it had been stored right and it was it was good, what would that bottle be worth? I'd have to look it up, but I would say probably a couple thousand dollars. Jeez, are you serious? One. Man. If it, was if it wasn't brown and oxidized. There's still a lot of liquor in that. Yeah? Or a lot of alcohol. A lot of alcohol in that. How do you know that by looking at it? It's it's leaving uh, legs on the glass. So the alcohol is what does that? Yes. Huh. So you can see a little bit of the sugars and everything sticking to the side of the glass. Yep. Smells metallic. Yeah, just a little oxidized. But... I don't really, like I don't, I can't tell a nice wine from a not nice wine, but like I can even tell a difference. Like it, it tastes a little different than a regular wet, red wine. Trying a sparkling wine, he thinks that might have a, a better chance. What is that bottle worth? Do you have any idea? 96. 96. It's hand painted on there too. Or that cork's just not doing anything. Is it supposed yeah, to be that yellow? I don't know. I have some. Yeah, it does look like it might be sparkling a little bit. Mm. It looks very yellow though. It looks like beer. I'm surprised it still has some sparkle on it with how much. That is crazy. They're gonna be like, oh, this wine's yeah. bad. We'll buy it all for 20 bucks. <laughs> and I'm duped, I don't even know it's actually worth thousands. All right, what do we got next? Camus, 2002. He said this was 360 bucks on Google right now. All right, I'm gonna predict it's uh, not great. Oh, the cork looks better, right? This cork is good. It's not all wet. Looks like it's might, might be I have a little better integrity than the other one we opened up. Uh, link in description, buy this one, 360 bucks right now. <laughs> oh man! That's my good shorts. Smells like wine. Still a little bit browner, right? Not as bad as the other ones though. What'd you say, milky? Oh yeah. Kinda hard to see through. Yeah, you're right, I didn't even notice that. It is cloudy. I mean, we're gonna get sick. I like it. So what you're telling me, so we have a whole lot of trash wine here. Probably so. Yeah, looks like we're not gonna have a not gonna have a winery open next week. Sorry, guys. Anyone who booked your stay at the resort next week for the wine, uh, 
not happening. This one just has a cool box. Um, he looked it up, 978, is that what he said? Almost 971 cents. Almost a thousand dollar bottle of, uh, oh, it's leaking. Yeah, it's still got some, uh, some fizz to it. Let's open it up. I mean, this one's leaking all over my hand. Gross. That's nasty. It's fizzy though, look at that. Did it break? Oh no. Ugh, yep. No bubbles. Yeah, just some chunks. That's how you know it's good. It just looks like you're pouring whiskey in there. Yeah, that one doesn't smell good. Even I can smell that. I'll sell it to you for 500 bucks right now. Take it or leave it. Take it. 400. I'm gonna have to pass. Dang it. <laughs> Next up, we got a one with like a bottle cap on it. So maybe that will hold hold pressure better. I don't. I don't know. All right, little baby champagne bottle. Nope. Close the lid and shake it. Does it does it get any fizz at all? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Nothing. We do have one thing we're gonna try. We found a bottle of port, which has higher alcohol content, so maybe keeps better. Hmm. That's real brown. Typically in good old ports, they're gonna be brown. Oh really? Shows how much I know. I don't like that. It left a gross taste in my mouth though. I'm, I'm not a fan of, I'm not a fan of this port. This 20 year old Texas heat port. Okay, so after looking at everything, uh, Dustin and Jerry don't think that anything's great. Nothing's like you'd wanna just take it home and, and sip it. It's a big bummer. Big waste. Yeah. Uh, and somebody just left it all for 20 years just sitting here. Thousands of dollars worth of wine just sitting here. But anyway, appreciate your expertise. Thank you guys for coming today. Yes, sir. And uh, we're gonna be checking in with uh, the Archway Resort uh, just to get little pointers. Um, they're not too close that we're competitors, but we're kind of doing similar things. And so it's like a really cool, it's cool to like have, have come to in over there, kind of see what you guys are doing over there. and kind of learn from you guys. So I appreciate you reaching out and uh, thank you guys for coming today. Absolutely. Today's video is sponsored by Rocket Money. If you have been watching any of my videos, you know that I bought this big abandoned resort. It's huge, it's old, and it's turning out to be very expensive. So now's the perfect time for me to crack down on my money management. Rocket Money is an all-in-one personal finance platform. It helps you save more and spend less. They make it easy to see all your finances in one place so you never have to wonder where your money's going. Do you know that one random subscription that you got like five years ago, you thought it was gonna be a great idea, but then you forgot about it and you're still being charged for it? Rocket Money can find all of your subscriptions, put them all in one place, and cancel any that you don't use with just one tap. This resort is huge and with it comes huge bills. I think the most important thing I can do right now is sticking to a budget. This app makes it easy to manage my budget so I can prioritize where my money is going. It monitors my spending by category, sends notifications when I've gone over, and can even show me my spend to earn ratio. Download Rocket Money and unlock more features with premium. Go to rocketmoney.com slash off the ranch or click the link in the description below. Thanks to Rocket Money for sponsoring this episode of Renovating an Abandoned Resort. I didn't even see that wall there. That's a shame too, it's a damn shame because I was gonna keep this building, but. Well, since I, my foot slipped on the accelerator pedal, I might as well knock it over. So here's the deal. This building, it's got some big support beams going there, but they're supported on these. And if you come over here, you can see up in there, there are metal I-beams that are just hidden in wood. So these huge metal I-beams span this entire gap and you can see these rock columns here. Inside the rock columns are these basically giant pillars of concrete. So they, they get a big tube, they fill it up with concrete. So it's like a cardboard tube, they pump it with concrete and they have rebar, metal and stuff in there. Those four posts are holding up the whole inside part of this two-story building. So if you come over here, you can see we put a chain around this one. I don't know if a chain behind the five ton will rip it out, but I know how to find out if it will. That was a brand new chain. New chain, man. New chain. I paid 50, like $52 for that chain today. It didn't even ever even pull on our concrete pillar. We didn't even get through the wall. It started digging in here. But maybe we put it up high, get a little more leverage, but I don't know, it didn't, it didn't move much. Actually, a little crack, look at this crack. I was thinking about it, I don't think it was. So now we have the chain up high, so maybe it'll have some leverage to pull that thing over. We're gonna send it one more time, hopefully not break another chain, but it's possible. We should move that out, right? Mikey will just put his helmet on, he'll be fine. Yeah. 
Can we break another chain? Yep. Yeah. Please check out Rocket Money because these chains are getting real expensive <laughs> today. The most dangerous place to be when you're putting tension on a chain is in line with it. That chain came back and smacked that with a lot of force. All right, Mikey, will you hold the chain next time? Yeah. Perfect. Thanks. How many is that? Dang it. One chain? Again? No, that was the other one. That's the other one? Yeah. What broke on this one? Oh, that. Oh. There's a problem right there. Yeah, there's some there's some tension. This one's like stretched. <laughs> Why do all the neighbors hate me? They just didn't get to know me. I'm a really nice guy. This is one of them space buildings. You don't need any supports that'll just it'll just hang. It's totally fine. I don't know. Listen guys, maybe we actually need to use machines made to take down stuff. I hear creaking though. Let's get back. You know what would be cool for this? It's a backhoe. But I got a nail in my backhoe tire so it's flat. We can't even use it. So Oh. This guy's crazy. I was worried to push the five ton further in there because there are bars on the roof, but there's big holes in between them with just little sheet metal. And so if something fell straight down, I value my life a little bit. Did you see me telling you to put your helmet on? We're gonna see now if the skid steer can just bump one of those columns over. If we can get those over, the thing would go. The five ton with a chain could not budge them. Jeez, they are so strong. Oh, oh my gosh. So he hooked that I-beam and it lifted off. He's gonna go try to lift off the other one and then we'll maybe get the five ton in a chain hooked to the I-beam and just yank the whole I-beam out. And then this whole thing should fall. Although if he does it right now, it might fall anyway. It's creaking. It definitely tweaked everything. Just need to get this giant building out of our way because this is gonna be the site of our first big build. We wanna put a big event center right here it's gonna also have like our welcome area like where you come in and talk to the person at the reception desk that this is where you'll check in this is where your wedding venue could be like this is gonna be the big the big building which I'm hoping we can keep booked and packed all the time with people with you people demolisha coming here not here but in this location oh my gosh yep it lifted right off that I-beam is free. So that I-beam is just being held in place by all the rafters on top of it. So if we can just yank that I-beam with a chain, it falls out, all the rafters fall. I think half the building will fall down. So now we got the top of the pillar not connected to the I-beams anymore. We're just gonna try putting a chain around the pillar again because now I think the thing that was holding it from falling earlier was it's very stout, but it's also hooked in the bottom and the top. Now it's not hooked in the top anymore. I think we can rip it out, everything falls. If this works, this will be the single greatest achievement of my entire life. Still the single greatest achievement of my life. I'm gonna go with it. Half of it came down. I'm gonna call it the best thing I've ever done and ever will do. The beam fell off. Um, the building did not come down though. I think the beams are possibly still both on in the back. I would say we're in danger right here. We're in the back. So both back uh, pillars are still up and the I-beams are on top of them. You can see that one going down right there. So I got the fronts off, but the backs are still hooked on. So the front half of the building's going down. And now I'm scared to get in here with the 
bobcat because you have to get really close with that and it's all leaning this way now. <sighs> we just need our tire to be back on our backhoe or excavator. <laughs> Pushed on it just around the edges enough and both of the back of the I-beams fell down. So uh, it's all just easy now. I mean, this stuff is all lightweight so we can just crunch it up easily. So the building is, it's demolished and it feels good. It feels real good. This goat just walking through here. He doesn't even know about how awesome this place is. He has no idea this is the best place in the world. It will be the best place in the entire world. Another successful day out here on the resort. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for being here. So the plan is now, we're gonna clean this up, throw it in dumpsters, haul it totally off the property. We'll probably salvage some of the wood if it's usable, but a lot of it's just trash. I mean, it's old, rotten stuff. So we're gonna get this thing out of here and we've been actually developing a plan for the new big event center, check-in, everything. Um, so I'm going to show you those blueprints coming up very soon. Thanks for watching this episode. I love you, and I'll see you next time.